see you again. So, wait. Today we see. Wait. 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 Are you ready? Are you ready? And now, this. Tada! Burgund Church. From Norway. Enjoy. old and it's the best preserved and the most authentic state church left in Norway and the reason why we can say this is because they had uh, many of the pieces here on the church is from 1188 on the inside 90% is original so it's almost everything and on the outside they have been able to uh, keep the original shape on the church so when the church was built and maybe a hundred years later it looked almost like this. There are three main reasons why the church is so well preserved. The first reason is that the church is covered with tar or or wax is chara. Okay. Uh, tar is a mix of sap from the trees and ash and when they boil this up together and apply, apply it to the wood it makes the wood waterproof. This tar is very warm when they apply it so it can make the wood look this way. Yeah. And the tar we use today is not as good as the one they used 800 years ago. They haven't been able to find the right recipe yet so uh, we have to reapply the tar almost every year because every year yes almost every year yeah because here i see is a little bit uh, mm, that's because the tar melts off if it's too warm outside so you can see that there are yeah, drops from down. the roof yeah. And there are three main reasons why the church is so well preserved. The second reason is that the church is built on a stone foundation. So there are stones all uh, uh, under all the church. All over yeah. the church. Mm. And the wood hasn't been in contact with earth and it hasn't rotten. But that, that was something that happens in several stave churches because the staves, that's the poles inside the church, there was they were put into holes in the ground mm -hmm. and after mm -hmm. just a few years they, it started to rot mm -hmm. and here they made the stone foundation and built everything on top of the stone foundation and Very the third main reason is that the church is built of a kind of pine that grows very slowly in the mountain so it becomes very strong and it, it can last for a long period so they say that if the church, if people doesn't destroy the church, it can be standing here for 800 years more. Yeah. And this is a Catholic church. Uh, it was originally Catholic, uh, but it, it has also been Lutheran. It's a bit weird to use dragon heads on Catholic Church or is Christian the church. original dragons? Um, uh, the, there has always been dragons on the church. Uh, these are not the original ones. These because has, I see it's a little bit new. Yeah, the they are church. newer. Uh, but they are very. The weather can very fast destroy them, so uh -huh. they has have been changed. 
uh, the reason why we think that they used these dragon heads on the church was uh, because when the church was built in the 1100s, even though Norway was a Christian country, many people weren't completely Christian. Many people still believed in the old gods. They believed in Thor and Odin, Freya and such. And but now not anymore. Not anymore, not today. But when the church was built, many people still believed in those gods. So the church thought that by using old symbols from this earlier religion, it would be easier for people to become Christian because they had some symbols by the religion that they knew from earlier times. Uh -huh. Here in the carvings around the door you can see the dragons or snakes. And usually the state churches they were inspired by the cathedrals in Europe because the Vikings had seen them when they were traveling. They wanted to, ma to make their own kind of cathedral. But here they didn't have that much access to stone, so they had to make the cathedral in tree or wood. Uh, and they made the, the church in their own kind of way uh, by taking ins inspiration from several buildings that they had seen when they were traveling. So the carvings around the door here, they were, they are inspired by the carvings into stone in many cathedrals. This part of the church where we are standing now uh, looks like how it looked when it was Catholic. So when the church was Catholic, people had to stand. There, the only benches were the ones along the walls and they were for old people. And usually men and women had to split up during the service. So women were standing here on the north side because they said that the north was cold and the evil came from the north. And the men were standing here in the south because in the south it was warm and nice. So the differences were quite big at that time. <laughs> and the priest was standing here because the pulpit wasn't made yet. And the pulpit is from the time after the Reformation. So when the priest was talking to the people, he, were, he was standing behind a curtain, so they couldn't see him. And he was talking in Latin, so the people didn't understand anything either. Yeah, because before uh, so many years... Uh, Be before the, the Reformation, uh, the services in the Catholic Church were supposed to be in Latin. Latin yeah. mm. But when the Reformation came, they did a lot of changes by the church and by the service. So the priests started to talk in Danish because, because Norway and Denmark were in union at that time. And the pulpit was made here. And this was from 1550. And when the pulpit was made and put in here, the services started to last longer for hours and hours and hours. And when the Reformation came, they translated the Bible. So, and if people were supposed to sing in church and read the Bible, they had to have more lightning. So they made several windows. So the window over there was made. And there has been a window on the wall here. Yeah. And also, there has been a window here. So the church was very beautiful inside with, with flowers on the walls and many paintings. I think so. uh, but when the National Trust of Norway bought the church, they wanted the church to look mostly original. So they took away the stone too. No, the stone table is actually older than the church itself. We think that this stone table was used in a, as an altar in an earlier church that has been here. My, some of the planks on the walls here were used in this earlier church. But also, and normally they used tables like this on places for sacrifice in the Viking Age. 
So we think that this has been the place for sacrifice, and that was the table for sacrifice, because the state, state churches, they weren't built on random places. They were built on places that had been holy and, and important for the people for a long time, even before Christianity came to Norway. So this stone table can be over a thousand years old. We don't know, but okay. we think that it, but it's much older than the church. Than the church, mm -hmm. okay. We are here. Awesome. Awesome, and a lot of information. We get it. This is our visit to this church. It's one of the amazing places. Burgund Church, Steve Church. Burgund Steve Church. It smells like so old, old. really Very old. When you know how the woods smell. You can came here. You uh, pay nine euro. Yeah, nine euro. Like that, it's you, not too much. You can uh, reach a guide, guide, a guide, and uh, how you can you see in our video tells you all the details what you want to know about it. Was very good. Yeah. I like to be here. So lucky to be here. I am so lucky to be here. Not forgot to push some buttons from here because that uh, help us a lot. And uh, stay responsible. Be happy and take care. We see you to the next one. Next video. Peace.